Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inside the Booth. I am your host, Dan Arena, and we have... Oh, wait a minute. You're over here. Today. Oh, what Kevin. is wrong with us? Is there a way we can switch ourselves? Sure. What you is want going me to on? Switch it. Hey, everybody. Yeah. This is... There we go. <laughs> All right, back to normal. We stepped into a parallel universe there for a second. <laughs> it looked the same, but something was different. That's right. That's right. No, it's, I feel comfortable it, it, it threw, My face threw us off, I think. It's, that's what it is. Face. That's what happened. Everybody say hi and clap for Dan's face. Yeah, say, uh, this is actually not the first time I'm showing you guys my face. If you were around Tim... Tim's talks last night, I showed my face there, but uh, I was hoping that tonight would have been the night, but I told him I'd show up, so I went on his. You didn't, you could have <laughs> used your avatar. I should have, right? I should have just used the avatar. Um, yes. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. We got Uncle Mike. Hello, Uncle Mike. Thanks for showing up. Uh, we got Scurf Scuttlebutt podcast. Sup, everybody? Have a great show, he says. He must not be staying on too long because he's probably got a show. Thanks for showing up anyways. Everybody's we got We got Inside the Booth, which is probably my brother. No, that was me. Um, oh, that was you? Okay. Since everybody was late. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured I'd talk to yeah. the chat. <laughs> and then we got Kaylee. Kaylee D. K-Dog. What's up, K-Dog? And we got uh, Mrs. R2 the Icky saying baby face. Yes. We got uh, Steve... Giblin saying, Yay, he didn't miss anything yet. And we got Mikey yeah. J Production saying, I'm early for once. Yes, you are. So, or are we just oh, really and Dax. late. Yeah, we're really late. We kind of are a little late. Dax is here. He says, Almost ruined the whole darn thing. I don't know how, but he's apt to do that. We, we, we don't know how, but he's just apt to do that. That's it. That's it. And my phone is blowing up. I don't know what that's for. But there we go. And uh, mm. today we got Tabitha wanting to say some stuff. I do. Go but, you know, it. I'd rather show you guys than tell you. Oh. What is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. 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 Where the real money from the movie is made. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I laughed so hard when I put your face over top of yogurt and it worked. <laughs> that is great. I love it. All right, everybody. That was the first time I saw that. I wanted to get Dan's live reaction for everybody. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it. That was great. <laughs> Inside the booth tv.com slash shop and get yourself some cool stuff. Merchandise. <laughs> You're gonna have to take that snippet and put it on mm -hmm. Twitter. I plan yeah, to. Yeah. We'll oh, have to show sweet. this again when uh, uh, when Matthew shows up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was and partially we'll, uh, his idea. It was. It was. Mm -hmm. But that other stuff was your idea, so that's cool. I liked it. Um, and then we should put it on Facebook and all that jazz too. I love it. I love it. R2 the Icky, what's up? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> was... And then uh, someone said nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I worked long on that. I've got more. And who's coming. that? Who's that baby hosting with you, Tabitha? I don't know. <laughs> Dan's sister showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. A good thing Phil's not here yet. Or is he? Oh, he is. No, I, is he? He says you're looking like oh. he, you're about his age now. Nice, nice. Compliment. Oh, oh. Compliment. Thank you. And Adamu says hello there. Hello, hello there. Um, so tonight we are doing uh, our this lovely movie called Demolition Man. Demolishing Man. Demolishing Man. <laughs> he demolishes yeah. stuff. Starring your favorite Italian stallion, Sylvester That's Stallone, right. everybody's homegirl, Sandy B, and That's Wesley right. Snipes. I don't have any cute nickname to go with him. So For... Wesley Snipes. <laughs> uh, how about the, the vampire, vampire killer? Vampire killer. <laughs> yeah. 
Vampire Slayer. Nice. I'm glad we thought of that at the same time. We did. We're so, we're so <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um. So, yeah, uh, we're just kind of waiting for Matthew. He said he was going to show up uh, in a couple minutes. They always but... say that and they never do. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. He's, he's late, man. He's a late guy. Well, Did you know? forget it! I'm not doing it! This episode was badly written! That's right. It's badly <laughs> it written was. when people don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anonymous says, where's Dan? We don't know. He he left the building and I took over. See the stuff behind me? Yeah. It's a little different. I, I decided mm-hmm. to... I slapped slapped his bearded face off face off <laughs> now it's a totally random question has nothing to do with tonight's show but how long does it take to carve a beard off or shave a beard off like that i mean it's a pretty full beard it was a full beard um see i trimmed it down first with a hair clippers just because uh the beard clippers it would have worked but it would have taken a lot longer so I used hair clippers for the beard. Um, it took me about thirty minutes, probably, uh, because okay. after that, you got after you trim it down, and then you got to kind of shave it down, kind of to where it is now. It maybe just a little bit longer, um, and then you get the razor, and then you got to put the the soap on the face or whatever you use uh, to to shave with. Um, some people use shaving cream. I use uh, shaving soap. Um, because I like to feel like the old style carve a oh, beard. <laughs> yeah, I did I, say that, didn't I, Maria? You did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so I use I use the old fashioned um, horsehair brush, and I brush it on my face uh, with the shaving soap. Uh, you should have live streamed it. Some people <laughs> enjoy watching other people shave. Shave, I so, guess, yeah. You know, um, and that, because they find it relaxing. And did you guys know that if you want to relax, we do have a secondary channel. Dan could tell you more about that. That's right. It's called ITB for Inside the Booth Relaxation Corner. And over there, right now, it's only one video, but we will be getting more videos up soon. And it's going to be all about relaxation sounds or music, little Video. pictures uh so you can go sit down have a cup of coffee read a book or just fall lay asleep. on your yeah fall asleep you something it'll like... be like <laughs> it'll be like it's usually about uh three hours worth of music um i've done that before laid in bed watching something and literally had the thing fall on my face because I was <laughs> that's great that's so, funny well, do we want um do we do want to just catch Matthew up? Yeah, I guess we can catch him up. Um so much, only got, so much beer got, talk we can talk about, you know. Right. Avery Cruz, wing hugs. Um my brother's here. What's up, bro? Brother ghost man. Uh only the ghost is allowed to be late, not Matthew James, he says. Nice. That's funny. We'll tell it to Matthew James. That's right. We'll have to uh, yell at him at our next business meeting, family business meeting. No, I'm joking. We don't yell yeah. at anybody. We don't yell. We, we speak firmly. And a, we, <laughs> we speak. Uh, with, how did that in the movie with affir- affirmation or uh, effectiveness? How would that go with the police yeah, officer when he had no idea how to con- you know, confront yeah, a bad guy? Thing. And he's holding that thing and he's like, computer, what do I do? And they're like, speak and firm twice voice tone of voice and uh, and assertively or something like that you're like tell him to get on the ground get on the ground and put your hands behind your head <laughs> he's yep. not listening uh, he's not listening <laughs> then put the words or else or else <laughs> Simon Phoenix get on the ground or else or else <laughs> and, he, and then he just looks scared like... when he's doing it <laughs> yeah exactly oh it was so good oh my gosh uh, there were whoa. a lot of a lot of funny Weird. parts in this movie um for sure oh by the way when i did shave just so everybody knows i do have one of those old fashioned that's right old fashioned 1930s 1940s uh razors where it's the metal kind and you twist the top 
and you take the take the thing off, you put a razor in, put the thing back ooh, on. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. I do it the old fashioned way. Well, kind of old fashioned. I mean, older fashioned would have been just the regular grow it out. blade. Oh. <laughs> or yeah. grow it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just grow it out. Um, but yeah, there you there you have it, everybody. Carved off like a roast. That's right. That's what I did. What do you guys think? Not that Dan cares about your opinion, but show of hands, who prefers Dan's face the way it was versus now? Where you got some big fans out there of the beard? Are we all preferring the the baby face? Just curious. We, just we curious. like the clear face. Oh, it's Matthew James. Woo! Matthew James. Yeah. We were just about to get started. Oh, nice. That's we right. waited for you. Hi. <laughs> Not a. Jer I don't know what a Jeremy's razor is. Um, it's something with the Daily awesome. Wire. Oh, no. It's a really cool commercial. You should, <laughs> no. I think you'd like it. Very manly, very assertive. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you where I got my razor from. <laughs> it's actually from my grandfather. So. Oh. so, no, I did not buy it from no cheap guy. I I got it, uh, what was it called? A hand-me-down. Before my grandfather Is it passed, healthy and safe one, to so. use hand-me-down razors? Yeah, because the blade comes out and you put it in. Oh, the blade okay. So it's the you handle, not the razor. It? I have to, yeah. I'm like, you're using <laughs> the same razor. Your no, it's the same is. razor from like 1945. It's a little rusty. Still has it his rips. grandfather's hair on there. That's right. Yeah. It rips off the beard. It doesn't cut it. Uh. <laughs> no. No, Tab, that. that's not how it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my brother says, according to Phil, Dan looks like a girl. Um, he sorry. can if you have an app. There's an app for that. There's an app for that. That's right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So enough about what, Dan's what face. It? That's it. 19. <laughs> what, when was this movie out? 1993. 1993. Mm -hmm. Or was it 94? One of now, those what's interesting things. is the movie came out in 1993, but it takes place in 1996. That's right. In the beginning. And then 2046, you know, after he wakes up from his cryogenic, whatever, free, frozen doohickey, mahookickey. I just thought it was interesting oh, that go. they decided to place the movie um, three years in the future. Like, I yeah. <laughs> instead of like 10 or 20 <laughs> years well in instead future. of like current day <laughs> right <laughs> 10 you know three years in the future like and also you know 1993 they really thought that in 96 you know cryogenics was really going to be a thing and all that stuff it's just like i just thought that was kind of funny it, it is <laughs> <laughs> it's and funny. a little strange i guess they thought they were going to make a lot of advancements in the field of science um in three years in so. three years, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and hey, no, uh, yeah, anyways. Demolition Man is a cult classic from my teen years. Yes, it is a cult classic from teen years. If you were a teen at that time. I was going to say, for some people, and me, not so much. I was, a wee, <laughs> I was a wee little lass when it came out. <laughs> you were a youngling. I really was. Um, hi, by the way, to <laughs> Danny. That's right. Um, Maria's here. Who else is around here? Did I miss anybody? I Rogue Disney. He came on. He came on. What's yeah. up, Rogue? I think other than um, that, except you haven't addressed Matthew in the chat. Oh, don't take, because don't take it personally, now. Matthew. You know, he'll Matthew's get to you. Matthew's here now. Jeez. That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> We were picking on you about being late. Yeah. Don't you do it again now, you <laughs> hear? Or you have to mess with the law. The law. That's when right. you're the watching law. a Hayao Miyazaki film, you can't you can't stop anything for that. Uh, well, you, you really could, but no, no. <laughs> you really like you you have the power. You could you could press pause. No. Yeah, you could hit the pause button. <laughs> when you're watching a masterpiece piece like that, it's just you can't stop it. Okay, well, you know, when you have a show that... Hell's Moving Castle is not something I will ever topic. interrupt. Especially hey, Dan was late, too. On show. Come on, now. That's all right. Uh, yeah, oh, I was a little look late. at that. I was at 9 o'clock. I was at 9 o'clock later. Um, <laughs> sure. But, you know, 
Uh, rat burger. Yes, I love the rat the burger. Rat. That was probably the best. <coughs> I heard that vibration. Sorry, it was my phone. I forgot to turn it down. No, that's okay. Just don't have it on. Don't the let same... it do it again. I know. No, no, no. I was just gonna say, don't have it on the same uh, uh, platform Sorry. your microphone's on. And look at, look at, look at Dan Matthew telling us what we can and cannot do. Just bossing us around. You know, he shaves his face and he thinks he just owns. Now the I'm the world. CEO. Look at him over there. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the CEO of the company. Come on. It's all downhill from here then. I think he's the big man on campus because now we can actually see all of his face at one time. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Right. <laughs> uh, we all know each other. How do we all know each other? Same ways you know us. We live on Earth. <laughs> well, it all started out as little humans that grew up and talked to other humans and eventually formed relationship. <laughs> that's, that's it. Um, yeah, that's a long story. Uh, go, go watch a little bit of uh, what was it? Uh, Fabworks, Ado's channel. Uh, you might get to know. They a might bit not of know who Ado I, is. <laughs> how I met these people because <laughs> I was interviewed over there. I don't know why. We don't either, but you know. Um, we uh, so, we did like a meditation and then met each other in the outer in the war force. space. Yes, outer the force drew us together. And we were like, <laughs> mm, this, "You must be Tabitha. Is that your name?" And you're like, mm, "Yes." Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Dial one number. for Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, is that your name? <laughs> I just feel something here. This Dan, is my email. Listen address. to the voices in his head again. <laughs> right. I met you so, all through a proton pack. It's not a toy. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. He, he is a cool guy. I like him. Uh, I'm a streamer as well. Oh, cool. Well, maybe we'll get you on here sometime. We can say hello. Hello. And, the, oh, like, uh, what's it? Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And the world says hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get Demolition. on with Demolition Man. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Demolition Man, everybody. Uh, get on with it and, uh, you know, stay on target. <laughs> Um, Where are those? I, I get was going to play it. Yes, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. So, yeah. Demolition Man. Uh, great classic. 19, was it 93 or 94? 93. Just September 8th, 1993. Okay. And, uh, yes. And... Yeah, that's when it was made. Sylvester Stallone, Sandra Bullock, Wesley yeah. Snipes, Rob Schneider's in it. Mm -hmm. uh, who Nigel doesn't like Austin. a little Rob Schneider, you know? I know. He, they just kind of insert him sometimes in the movies. Like, it's just a nice little glimpse of him. He doesn't have a big role, but it's somehow refreshing just to yeah, see exactly. him somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would get Rob Schneider on the show and interview him. That would be fun. That would be cool. If you, if you all want to see Rob Schneider on our show, go email Rob Schneider. Uh, he's got a, like a website. Spam his email. Info. Let's spam his email and say, you got to be on Inside the Inside. Booth with Dan Arena. Uh, go. Be invited. Or go Look at that, Matthew. Find out about the seashells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know about the three seashells. Come on. Um <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't get a chance to, but I was going to get a, a piece of wood and like glue three seashells on it and bring it with me and set it behind me somewhere. That would have been oh, fun. Be cool. um, but, you know, I like these costumes, to be honest. They're pretty cool costumes. Um, let's get to the plot, shall we? Um, yes, shall we? The plot is where... I'm not good at explaining plots. I could <laughs> pull it up. Um, where... Sylvester Stallone is this police officer. He he gets uh, Wesley Snipes is like the bad guy, and he puts him in jail basically. And then he gets uh, put in jail himself because of a bus that already had dead people in it. 
but didn't know they were already dead and they were just trying to figure it out and then he so he got put to jail as well and then they were cryo frozen in jail until they were told to be released and then wesley snipes got out early because um he had to go kill some guy <laughs> edgar friendly and uh and uh you know and then obviously they bring out uh stallone <laughs> yeah great great <laughs> plot. he That's was crier frozen but then he had to kill some guys so they fought him like you know like <laughs> yeah, it was just like a, you know it's tuesday dude just it's the 12th days. i need to go kill somebody let me out <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah um it has a lot of uh weird if you watch this uh enough times it has a lot of weird stuff that you could kind of see that's kind of has been going on today a little bit uh, i have an entire yeah. list yes oh do you all this, right like, predict Sweet. stuff in the future that's right that's like right. our no. our present what they thought would be yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No High five. yeah we <laughs> <laughs> um because of germs uh, uh, it's so funny when uh will smith claps that guy's hand and he's like oh yeah will smith is not i mean will way. smith not will smith <laughs> who's will smith well will smith wouldn't have done this he would have been like this <laughs> gosh man i'm not tired no i didn't wake up at five in the morning forget it um <laughs> I went to bed at um, two o'clock in the morning. What's your story? <laughs> going to bed at one, wake up at five. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, not Will Smith, Sylvester Stallone. I don't know how you got Will Smith. Hand. I don't know. I don't even know why. Why my brain did that. Um, so Sylvester <clears throat> Stallone did the whole hand clap thing, and the guy's like, if you listen closely, the guy goes, Ugh, "Germs." <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> you didn't hear that? It was so funny. That's I was like, funny. oh man, I've seen this so movie too many times. So accurate. Uh, but yeah, it is <laughs> accurate for today. Yeah. Oh, don't don't sneeze on you. Don't touch anybody. Stay six feet away. So yeah, I <laughs> mean, adding adding on to the plot, kind of like Dan said, you know, there's a police officer and a bad guy, and it's like very know. present day, you know, where um, you have germs and and you know, people living life. They're out on the streets. We've got fast food, everything, just normal life. But in the future, um, whatever is deemed unhealthy is bad for you and therefore illegal. And so you have a very sterile environment and the police officers don't know how to handle crime because all crime has been eliminated. And so Wesley mm -hmm. Snipes character, he's um, just very evil and wicked and he uh doesn't care he's kind of sadistic too he's just kind of happy go lucky about killing people and things like that so they're all freaking out because they don't know how to handle him and that's when they decide to thaw um john spartan what a name uh sylvester <laughs> yeah. character uh, to basically they're like we need somebody who knows how to handle this guy and he mm -hmm. has to use what they think are some or orthodox some very neanderthal like methods in order to capture this guy because they just don't live in a reality bubble that bad people do bad things and you can't just go up to them assertively and uh tell them to get on the ground and put their hands behind their head and expect them to yeah. be <laughs> to do it yeah um i do like i do enjoy the part where uh edgar friendly is like i'm not a part of cocteau's plan i want to i want to uh, i i love freedom of speech i love this I oh yeah well, do a jello jello bath and do. I want know, to run just, naked through the streets yeah. with jello all over my body because I can't. Yeah. Yeah, just because I want to, you know. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I love freedom. <laughs> Cactus plan is not freedom. You know, I mean, a jail cell. Go, you know, basically like, you know, that's so funny. I love it. Yeah, there were a lot of funny lines and different things like that in here. I mean, the plot itself. I don't think the plot is is bad. Like I think the plot is pretty pretty good. I mean, it does have a very much of a GI Joe kind of cartoon quality to it because again, <laughs> with the name choices, John Spartan is the only man who can take on you know uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, Phoenix. What's his first name? Darn it, I forgot his first name. But you know the, the guy's name is the Phoenix, the and I mean guy. they give him like these really superhero kind of. Um, names and uh but it, you simon, know i mean simon phoenix simon yeah, phoenix and it's not and you know of course every story is pretty much good over evil and you know all that kind of stuff but this um this took it to a very interesting path because of the 
cleanliness and and all, everything being sterile. So it's not just one like a bad guy against a good guy. It's a good guy trying to help people defeat the bad guy, but the people <laughs> can't accept him because he's dirty and he touches other people and like it's just kind of funny where yeah. he has to he has to navigate this new lifestyle in the future while trying to help these people against this ruthless killer <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. so i mean like i would give the plot a point just because it is quite creative um even yeah. though again some of this stuff is so over the top macho that's i think what gives it you know just a little bit of whimsy it, it definitely makes it funny gives it its flair yeah, yeah so. <laughs> yeah, so I'll also give it a point. Um, I know I didn't say that yet. Uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of funny, interesting things in, in this movie. Um, Mikey Production says uh, he gets Demolition Man and Judge Dredd confused. Yeah, well, I could kind of see that because Judge Dredd is about cops and well, doesn't Stallone, Stallone a cop? Yeah, yeah. He and then it's like, um, and then. And the outer world is kind of like a apocalyptic feel. Same mm. with the sewer world in this one. It's kind of got Judge that apocalyptic feel. Yeah. Watch that. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about yeah. the plot, Matthew? Yeah. What do you uh, think? Yeah, it's the classic Hopefully. good good against evil story. A society which thinks it has become a dystopia where everything is extremely regulated. Cameras are everywhere. Police are a joke. Common sense for the simplest things are overlooked. Mm. I wrote down uh, the quote, uh, we're police officers. We're not trained for this amount of violence. <laughs> <laughs> what? And all, I think only Rob, like Rob Schneider was like the perfect guy for that. He's got those big yeah. eyes and that, that, that boyish face. We're, we're police officers. We're not trained. <laughs> he does that horrible laugh about like, he doesn't know about the seashells. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he doesn't man. know about the three seashells. And he's like, uh, I could see how that could be confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Stallone looks at him like, <laughs> and he's like, uh. you want to show me? All right, <laughs> tutorial. Yeah, I, I give I give it a point for the plot. Mm -hmm. It's just a fun fun movie. Yeah, yeah. good costuming too. I think, um, mm -hmm. you know the what's it? Uh, Wesley Snipes' character Simon Phoenix, when he goes down into the sewers and he comes back up with this cot like this weird looking costume. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's uh, like rubber tires. They just cut up some rubber tires and they. Kind of paste it. And oh yeah. it, you know? I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, you know, they were very like creative, tires, doesn't it? It looks yeah. like um, the tread of tires on the thing. But I mean, that reason. would be heavy. It would be heavy, so they probably didn't use rubber tires, but that's yeah. what they made it look like. Yeah, know? that's true. Which is, you know, definitely creative. Um, yeah, it, it kind of does. It has that bulky, yeah, tire look to it. I, <laughs> I do think it's funny. Like in the beginning of this movie, I to me is quite different than the rest of the movie in the way that they portray mm -hmm. the characters. Like they really, really want you to quickly understand that only John Spartan can take on Simon Phoenix. The demolition man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it really, it almost, I wrote down that they basically tried to make this movie. Well, I don't say they tried. It, it looks like they tried to make the movie look fake for real. If that makes sense. Uh -huh. Because yeah. some of the cut scenes, you know, they have these dramatic angles and they're very quick. And then the way he's walking down the hallway and the action moves are very, um, they're not very uh, fluid. So it's kind of like, mm -hmm. oh, and you can hear the punch and there's that little bit of a pause. Um, and then I was just, I was laughing because when he captures Simon Phoenix and he puts him on his shoulders and he's running down the hallway like it's no problem. <laughs> and then the whole building literally collapses and blows up <laughs> and number one we don't see them escape but they're on right. like the, the the third or the fourth floor right so we know that he ran to, to the window but we don't actually see how they escape the building <laughs> and the, like i said the whole the entire building blows up and collapses and when you see them outside you it's know so epic. He, he's still got his hat on <laughs> you know they That's just right. got a little bit of soot on their face and it's just like you know Lock them up, boys. You know, it was yeah. so G.I. Joe. <laughs> it was just, I like movies in the future that make fun of old movies. Like, it seemed like this was the movie that they were doing that off of. Yeah. But as the movie progressed, 
I don't I didn't see quite as much of that gimmicky stuff in there. I don't know. Maybe they switched out directors for the beat for like the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was still fun though. Yeah, I found out that the uh, opening of the film uh, showing Los Angeles in turmoil was actually filmed six months after the L.A. riots in 1992. Mm. 1992. And oh, okay. uh, Hollywood sign was never set on fire during the riots, so that was completely something else. I'm like, oh, that's fascinating. So they got, got, did some filming during the riots to get that look. Good I job, guys. Never, never pass up an opportunity, you know? That's right. That's right, that's right you know? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> imagine what's going to happen with the, the riots that have been happening mm. the past couple of years. Oh, you know somebody's got they're that on camera they're gonna, wait yeah, of course. for things to calm down, and then they're going to release it in some kind of a movie, you know, just casually. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Stock footage. Right. <laughs> you got to buy it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You, you, gotta buy <laughs> you gotta buy it from stock uh the stock footage yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> <fun>. Um <laughs> so uh Phil says if you guys want to pretend you're Will Smith and smack the like button, please also ring the bell. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thanks, Phil. Let them know. Um, <laughs> not to scare anyone, but Soylent Green takes place this year. Oh, uh, we well, know. You gotta tell him, silent. You gotta tell him, silent breed is people. <laughs> that scene, soon. that scene still gets okay. me every time because that arm just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> silent green is people. All right, Tabitha, I'm gonna let you push the buttons from now on. Cause, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I I saw that comment, so I was like prepped and ready to go. Oh, you so were I was, oh, okay. I, I was just waiting for you to read it because I could tell you were going to. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> we're we're okay. still guys. We're still new to the whole clips movement here, so bear with us. <laughs> yes, it's very <laughs> true. We found something new. We're like, whoo! Yeah, like shiny. Like, all the time. <laughs> oh, by the way, as you guys see that Dan's drinking out of that mug. If you're new here, kind of like Matthew is. Matthew, you got to watch this. It's going to be great. What is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. 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 Where the real money from the movie is made. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, he did the Zelda. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's That's beautiful. so great. We got to trademark that. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, I just love Dan's face though over there. Awesome. It's like lips moving. Merchandise. <laughs> Merchandise. <laughs> I love this. Uh, clips is easy. Yes, R2 oh, look, is. But, that's R2 but, street uh, name, the Clippa, because that's what he does. Clipper. That's right. That's right. And we're going to ask you for some more clips sometime soon. Um, but uh, yeah, the only reason why I think it's a little bit tough is because. Tabitha and I can run it at the same time. And if we're going to push the button at the same time, we probably should know who's pushing first. Or we tend to like or, think sometimes yeah. at the same time. So like <laughs> the same thoughts So we're like, oh, I'm on it. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> right. And then we cut each other off. Yep, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to let Tabitha play with that part for tonight. Okay. Uh, I'll try. I'll I don't want to. I don't want to mess you up again. Now I feel so. pressure, like I've got responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to mess you up again because you know that was awkward when I pushed it after <laughs> you pushed it and it turned off, and I was like, uh, and then I pushed it again. Yeah. Anyways, so there you go. All right. So now we did you give it a point, Matthew? Yes. Plot? Okay. All right. So now we're on to with acting. Can I give it two points. You give the acting two points? Okay. Yeah. Right, then. <laughs> so just let it be one point because that's all we can give. Um, ah. <laughs> I want to give one point. I'll let Matthew have my point. Three still points out there. It still balances, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, well, why do you give it one point, Matthew? What speaks to you the most? Hey, before he says anything, uh, Mikey says kudos to whoever made that. Yeah. That's to Tabitha. She mm -hmm. made that. All right, go ahead, Matthew. Tell us why acting gets a point. Because you, you actually believe that those people are in the future. <laughs> they don't really know how to handle anything chaotic. You believe the, uh, uh, you really believe that the, those people are in in the future time. 
Yeah, they kind of talk a little backwards. <laughs> they they have meetings, uh, you know, uh, on on screen in the future, you know, just like we do with Zoom. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, you know. right. that's right. <laughs> Uh, technology regulates everything, which is that's slowly being uh, inundated uh, in our world now. And the characters are very, very believable. The one, the one thing that the what's the the guy, um, the commissioner, the main police guy, when they get Stallone out, he's like, "Enough of this! We're, enough of your family talking." It's like when you're when you're having someone come out of that being <laughs> frozen for so long. You got to have some kind of like, okay. Like some okay. therapy session yeah. or something. <laughs> it's just, that's yeah. not going to happen. Like he just found out his wife and his daughter are dead. Yes. Yeah. Enough of that. We've got other problems to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about which that. I, which I read that was supposed to be a subplot in the, um, in the movie the, about the um, his daughter supposed to be still alive, but they just cut yeah. that out in, uh, entirely. But that would have been interesting. Mm. He has to find his daughter and... It, the story it goes that this three hour uh, the, movie the, uh, that. <laughs> the daughter was supposed to be like with the underground people. That oh, would have been okay. like kind of cool. I'm like, oh, she's part of the resistance. I found her, but they oh, they didn't no. use that. Yeah, I guess it would uh, probably well, take away nice. from the simplicity of the plot. Um, I think that's what's endearing about a lot of the older movies, like the 80s and the 90s. They didn't have, in my opinion, like a Thank lot of too. subplots because um, I I know I saw Archie's comment. I'm like, yep. Yeah. You know, looking fresh tonight um That's is right. that they just kind of stuck with the plot that we didn't worry about you know right kind of like what i was saying about the opening or the part of the opening scene where he's got him on his back and he's running towards the window but we don't actually know how he escapes you never see it they just they kind of didn't worry about other yeah, things how, they're like we're, how, we're just gonna finish this film you know how, yeah right. exactly and that's you know and that's what was nice about movies back in the 90s you know they didn't really worry about certain things because they know that you know you're what's it called expanding your disbelief or whatever you know yeah. and the, and the uh, term back like in the day you... was like a blockbuster movie yeah. like you don't right. really hear that anymore no, not really. yeah. like and, stallone and those... was part of that he was a blockbuster guy yeah. and Same nowadays he, he, and what's unfortunate nowadays everybody wants to have backstories to every little yes. snippet of it's a like movie and it's like if I want a backstory, yeah. I'll read a book. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, how did, like, write a book. like, how did he escape? Right. Okay, well, we're going to show you how he escapes, and then he's escaped, and then we'll get to that point. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's better just to get to that point. Let's get move on. Let's get it right. done. Let's keep Yeah, moving. I have noticed that when I watch this and Wesley Snipes, you know, like, how did he get all this information, and how does he, like you said, escape and stuff like that? Um, I mean, they do kind of reveal that later on, but... Mm -hmm. I think because yet movies nowadays have us so conditioned to have such deepness for every moment that when that wasn't readily explained, I'm like, well, this doesn't make any sense. He can't just be coming out of the ice and knowing how to do jujitsu and breaking into the banks. Right. And like, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, Dax, suspending your disbelief. Sorry. <laughs> expanding your disbelief. I, I, that's, what I, that's what I said. Because I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't think of the words. So I was just like, there was, you know, like expand. There was a I, scene. I knew what I meant to say. I know. It's just funny. I'm thinking like, here we are. We're trying to be, I you know, we're trying to be Christians say. here. And we don't want people disbelieving things. And you know, per se, <laughs> <laughs> expand your disbelief. You know? there were, I mean, there was there was a really bad cut when they first met. Uh, Stallone's character met Wesley Snipes' character. And they're shooting each other up at the um, uh, museum. Uh, the gun museum. Where Stallone's in like the hallway, and then he shoots up the ground to get Stallone to fall. But mm -hmm. then you see like a cut to him; he's on the glass. He wasn't in that in the last like <laughs> frame. Oh. He was actually in the hallway. So that whole thing I was just like, ah, it's, uh, the cutting's a little off. Oh, who cares? This is a great movie. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, you just keep watching. Yeah. But it, that's something uh, as an editor, I'm like, ah, continuity error there. Yeah. <laughs> I suddenly got those joy, joy feelings. Well, oh, good. by the way, Matthew, uh, when I'm done with my movie One World, there's going to be a million continuity errors. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's from like how many years ago? And Matthew's going to tally so, every okay. single one of them. Yeah, that's right. Here <laughs> that's on right. Parker, there's one like no minute, I'm gonna, one minute. I'll build, my, I'll build two robots next to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll have my own MS3. There you go. Science <laughs> Theater 3000. <laughs> you should. That'd be great. <laughs> 
Um, um, it's just yeah. Uh, what, what was uh, the the uh, the code word was teddy bear teddy bear oh yeah and he like unbuckles and he's like yeah <laughs> and the guy's like how'd you know the code and he goes i wish i knew i don't know <laughs> but he beats him up anyways uh that was funny the cut from the eye was really good <laughs> the actual like he <laughs> fell to and then it just cuts to <laughs> thank you yep <laughs> and then he looks at you <laughs> it's all round oh it's very nice yeah, yeah. And a little goo at the uh, on the back of it, too. Yeah. Oh, of course, because that's what adds to the goriness to it. So, Dan, mm-hmm. what do you give the acting? Um, the acting. Yeah. yeah, I'll give it a point. All oh, because, you know, I do like Stallone. I like Wesley Snipes. I like uh, everybody that was in it, Sandra Bullock. Um, you know, and and uh, it was, a, it was, it's like almost believable and a little campy at the same time <laughs> but at the same time it's like you know i can see myself in that world i could see myself cosplaying as that you know it's just it's just like a fun movie you know um you can wear either the cop uniform or wear one of those uh kimonos rubber rubber tire <laughs> things <laughs> whatever you don't want to yeah, wear the and, kimono dan and then yeah you're right and then they got the kimonos that looked almost star warsy you know i like <laughs> that one <laughs> Here's a fun fact. Snipes was not the first choice to play the villainous Simon Phoenix. Oh. Stallone actually wanted Jackie Chan in the role. However, Chan reportedly turned it down because he didn't believe his fans wanted to see him play a bad guy. Uh, <laughs> that was, well, that'd be true. hilarious to see Jackie that Chan be, play a bad that guy. Would, that'd be amazing. He, that would be he has such a different personality. I know. Yeah, I don't know. That would have been weird. Um, yeah. I can't, Casino, picture, welcome, I, welcome. I can't picture him Why as a bad guy. That's true. Demolition <laughs> Man is one of the greatest films ever. Yes, it is. Yes, um, yes it is. Um, we should yeah. all cosplay as it. That'd be fun. I uh, I give this. Movie Forget about a that point. Star Wars cosplay. Let's let's start doing like Demolition, Demolition. Man. And I want to see Dan Dredd. bleach his hair <laughs> and make it, you know, into that little triangle there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Give it you a perm, bleach it. Yeah. Carve it, you know. I don't think I don't think it'd look the same. Sorry. No, no. He's got, you know. Yeah. He's got different hairstyle than I do. That's what I'm saying. Gotta maybe uh, get a perm and then rough it up a little bit, and then you can uh, <laughs> make that little try. And I can almost. <laughs> like it. Um, I give it a point as well because for the acting because we have quite the star-studded cast. Um, yeah, Sandra Bullock, Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, and uh, I can't remember that guy with the glasses, but like they all, they've all been in so many different movies at this point. Bringing them together for a film like this had to have been quite a bit of fun. Um, uh, I like, there's this one line, and it's so funny because like if you know more about like Sandra Bullock, she, <laughs> uh, she has a hard time keeping it together. <laughs> uh, she has a hard time keeping it together with ridiculous scenes. And so, um, I just wonder how she, yeah, I wonder how, how many times she had to go through this film and be like, you know, cause she, when she laughs, she snorts. And so I just couldn't imagine like, she has to be so serious and so formal on everything. And, you know, um, I like this one line that's in there when, uh, Sylvester Stallone meets that older guy that they used to know when they were younger and they're talking to each oh, other right. and they're calling each other, you know, like SOBs and F you man. And what you do? And like, just like <laughs> casually talking to each other. And Benjamin Bratt leans over to Sandra Bullock's character. And he's like, I don't understand. They seem to be friendly with each other and, and know one another, but yet they're calling each other discriminatory names. And she's like, and she's like, I've read about this insecure heterosexual males. This is their bonding ritual. <laughs> 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 Uh, Zachary <laughs> Lamb is his name in the movie. That's... Yeah. Um, so I just I thought that was funny, and like some of the silly things in there too. Did you guys pay attention to the buttons at the ATM machine computer thing that Wesley Snipes was trying to character was trying to hack in there? Because yeah. you know that you guy was look there. Great today. <laughs> you look great today, and he's like, I'm just not feeling so good. You are a ray of sunshine. Well, do you look at the buttons? And Enjoy on top of having the option for doing banking. And mail, it had like ego boost and other like yeah. affirmative <laughs> buttons you could click on. 
that's just i it was really good um <laughs> like again the, the scene, police officers you know it, you know extreme assertiveness and everything i do have a small list here of the stuff that they thought was going to be in the future that we do have now and mm -hmm. whether it's cultural or whatever like it was the no touching you know because that was not sanitary mm -hmm. um yeah. the hand what was it I wrote down hand scanning I'm not sure what that's for, but the language oh, police that, oh, that's what it was. The scanning when he had the chip in his arm and he just kind of scanned yep. it. And then there yep. was the language police because, you know, everybody's mm -hmm. words were being monitored. Only certain mm -hmm, language yeah. was allowed. Um, yeah. Self-driving cars. You're assigned one credit. <laughs> yeah. And then FaceTiming because, you know, she's in the mm -hmm. car. She's got her basic little iPad. And she's doing that curfew mm -hmm. i don't know if you guys caught that but they were talking with um benjamin bratt's character and she's like don't you you know get tired of the same old same old and he was talking something about no it's good you know just making sure people you know do their curfew and that kind of reminds us of a certain year that shall not be named uh the zoom meetings like mm -hmm. matthew had said voice activation um the chips to watch people like so they could mm -hmm. know where they were at at all times mm -hmm. and uh, one thing i thought was funny though which has nothing to do with this list but is she was why in the world was she typing when she could just talk to the computer like she would literally type something type in the computer and talk at the same and time and then say computer find you know this address or whatever and then she's like typing right before she says it like what was that all about she she but, wanted she wanted to be uh, uh real about it like how they did it back in the day. <laughs> That's my I, guess. But I, I <laughs> isn't it so interesting, so cool that in 1993 again, like old fashioned sci fi stuff predicting mm -hmm. our future. And I mean, like n nobody's really walking around in komodos at the moment. At the moment, but um, <laughs> you never know. the guy's like, we need to talk about your outfit. You look like a couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a great line. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so shit, Bob. Uh, he's funny. Uh, what was it? That and then the uh, uh, Raymond says, uh, uh, "Be well." And oh, yeah. Stone's like, "Be plucked, but not plucked," you know. And then he right. shoots the he shoots the thing that says, "You are fined one credit." Fine. Yeah, <laughs> that like, was funny. <laughs> For those who maybe have you never get seen his toilet paper. <laughs> was, got it. All right. Yeah. right back. For those who may not have seen this film, there is a lot of language in this film. Not my personal preference, but the one way that it's kind of for people like me bearable is that they made it super laughable because of the language police and how no um any any kind of swear word is not allowed. Doesn't matter what it is. And mm -hmm. you get fined. These little little paper machines, you know, pass out tickets anytime you do something. And so Sylvester Stallone's character, he comes out of, you know, freezing and he's just like, you know, what the H is all this? You've been fined one credit. And he's like, what the heck is this? You've been fined <laughs> And then like the commissioner's like, why is he doing this? He's like, he just got out of being unfrozen for all yeah. these years. Give the guy a break. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Yeah, anytime they swear, it's just like, you've been fined one credit. <laughs> <laughs> hey JT. Hey JT, what's up? Another fun fact: oh, yeah. Martin's supposed daughter didn't make the final cut. A then unknown Jack Black did. He appeared as one of Edgar's friendly followers. Yeah, yeah Jack Black right. was Jack in Black is in it. That's right. It's like what? One of one of his first roles, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> so, uh, ag yeah, I gave acting a point. You gave it a point. Tabitha, did you give acting a point? I did. Did you do. like the acting? It's a good It's a good cast. Wesley Snipes. Mm -hmm. You know, I've only ever really seen him as, like, more serious kind of characters. Uh, a snippet of Blade or when he was in He's U.S. Marshals. Awesome Blade. He's the one and... that started it all. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> and so to see him in this kind of, kind of character, you know, one color, like, two different colored eyes, the bleached hair crazy just kind of menacing person it, he did a good job mm -hmm. yeah he did he did and the 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 hackles between uh wesley snipes and stallone in this movie were <laughs> were pretty fun they're mm -hmm. fun to listen to so almost like friendly enemies <laughs> i guess you could say yeah his nemesis 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of like Batman and Joker, you know, and just yeah. Oh yeah, you got the feel of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right. So moving on is the cinematography. Matthew, would you like to go first on that? I was going to ask you to go first on that since that's your favorite one. Uh, well, <laughs> Dan, why don't you go you first? Remember? You're the cinematography guy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's got um, clear stroke for this one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think they did a great job with cinematography. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I like the vibrancies that they used. You know, they very vibrant. It, pretty much in the realm of uh the upper deck you know not the sewer but on top where uh everybody's like you know basically controlled um mm -hmm. it has a vibrancy in there like oh even though everybody is controlled and being told what to do and how to do things we, we make it look like it's fun to be the top dwellers you know the the mm -hmm on the on the land you know and then uh and then they obviously do a different color palette for mm -hmm. the 1996 and mm -hmm. for what's underneath in the sewers um so it's it looks a lot like it's a lot of fun they did a lot of i think they did do a lot of um there's not a lot of cgi because there wasn't a lot of mm -hmm. cgi back then um they made their own stuff yeah yeah and mm -hmm. and for what they Obviously, I don't know what the uh, budget was, but obviously they they built big, pretty big sets and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think they did a great job. So I will give cinematography a point. Yeah, I, uh, I, I also give that a, a point as well. Uh, yeah, the sets were fabulous, even when they were when they first mm -hmm. met at the museum. Like when they fall down, you're like, wow, look, yeah. <laughs> look at all that. It's just ready to go yep. <laughs> for this sequence. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, nothing, uh, seems, hi, Mom. nothing seems really off about it. So, so it, it had a point. budget between, this is a pretty big number. I'm not sure why it's not exact, but it said the budget was between 45 and 77 million. Oh, wow. The box office was 159.1 million. Oh, wow. I would love so they to see this on the big screen. I, I didn't get a chance to see it on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't either. You know, 93, I was, what, 10? If they ever, like, put that back, like, sometimes they do that. They yeah. see bring, like, a movie back, that I would totally... Oh, that would, be, that would be yeah. a movie I'd like to see on theater. Yeah. You know, I actually, if, you, if you're living in a small town, your local theater might do that for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's cool. Does my local theater, that? yeah, they do. I mean, oh, you, awesome. you pay like I think it's like 150 bucks, and you okay. can go in there and watch whatever movie you want to watch or something like that. Well, and you can invite a few people if you wanted yeah, to. That'd be cool. Oh, that's yeah, so, cool. yeah, basically renting out the theater mm -hmm. for the night. Yeah, it's yeah, you know, way they can make some money and way you can go hang out and have some fun. <laughs> <I'm dead>. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they do that. Um, JT says he saw it in the big screen. That's hey, good. Lucky. <laughs> lucky. He was probably like 11 years old. 10 or 11. <laughs> and JT, you're about our age, I think. Uh, my age, anyways. Uh, and Matthew's age. Matthew's my age. Well, I he's do know that he's... <laughs> I do know that he's younger than Ryan from Legion Games. But mm. he doesn't look oh, like is he? it. <laughs> so, that's what I heard anyway. But you can't believe what you hear on the internet. You can't believe internet people. And they lie that's all right. the time. <laughs> I'm 38 um, going on 39. And that's liar. not a lie. 3.9. 3. <laughs> 3. Now yeah, you're JT is 39. 39. Yep. <laughs> um I yeah, give so my age. <laughs> I give cinematography a point as well. It just it's it's good. It's not there are a couple of like quirky like i said in the beginning quirky camera angles to really show this like right. epic dynamic you know testosterone fueled you know scene basically which works it and, does work uh, what's up sam asking we don't know friend. who this new guy is <laughs> um so i mean that was good i like that they did kind of chill a little bit 
with the camera angles as the movie went along, but they still incorporated them here and there. Um, and then, um, let's see. I thought the way that they did a lot of the credits with um, the the different ways that they did, did the close-up shots of Sylvester Stallone's character while he was um, frozen was pretty good. Yeah, they, I mean, they were very, you know, careful to hide parts of the body uh, because mm -hmm. he was naked it would be interesting to see how they made something like that you know that the 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 the, the mannequin the in that was the, inside with the frozen yeah. like 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 really how big was that you know did they have it on a smaller scale and then just mm. like you know amplified it or did they actually make a legitimate size it was something i wanted to know that, I just that's didn't look a it good up. question i would like that's to see question. the behind the scenes on this movie yeah Does anybody <laughs> have the behind the scenes on demolition man I know it's such a shame with a lot of those movies, you know, they didn't realize that behind the scenes would become such a, a, a wanted uh, popular scene. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so it would have been so cool to know more about that. They, they really didn't know that we would all be craving that here in the future. Um, right. <laughs> right. So but yeah, I you, thought you that know. was really well done. Like, you know, they did the close ups yeah. of the finger. So you could really get this like, this connection and this feel about him being frozen and, and in this vulnerable state where he can't do anything. And even though he didn't really deserve it, it just, I thought that was really well done. Yeah. What's up, Whitey? How you doing? Whitey! Hey. Wing hugs. Wing hugs. <laughs> right. Oh, Matthew, you got to be making sandwiches over there <laughs> now that Whitey's here. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you, Whitey. Um, <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, that's good. So, everybody, we all talked about it already? Matthew, did yep. you talk about cinematography? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, the next one is the music. No, Matthew, you go first on music. You like music. Music? I, the... I didn't really <laughs> remember a lot of that the music. That was a great start to the music, answer. Yeah. And, uh, but... yeah, it's more of a, they've had more um, kind of sounds that went with the scene. Not really, I didn't really remember music. I mean, they had like that silly thing that with the uh, music in the car. Oh, this is the number one top, top yeah. on the station. Yeah. And it's like a kid song. It's, it was, a, it was, a, it was, it was a, called uh, mini tunes or something like that yeah, because it wasn't tunes, actually yeah. music. They were commercial bits. <laughs> yeah, commercial. Right. This yeah, one's my this favorite. One. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> And I'm like, Armor Hot Dogs were my favorite hot dogs as a kid. Like, like I got a little bit excited when I watched yeah. it. Yeah. Right. I'm like, I know that. I felt like Captain America. I know that reference. And when they were in the uh, in the in the Taco Bell, the guys playing uh, the Jolly Green Giant. Right. <laughs> On the piano. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is what the future holds. That's no good it, music. Hey, what's up, no, Billy Johnson? Great. What's up? What's Hi. up? But the, the tone in each scene worked um, really well and the texture that? that they added, the ambience, yeah. like sounds that was going on or uh, the hype you up with, uh, you know, the action or like the mm -hmm. suspense uh, sound stuff they did. That was great. But music score, I don't really remember much. I mean, it's so, so memorable. Yeah. I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was weird with the ATM scene. Like I thought I couldn't, I was trying to figure yeah, out something like a, was really off because they would play that kind of, now I might be using the wrong <laughs> term here, that, that kind of like sketch music back in the nineties and stuff like yeah, that. Anytime weird, he would yeah. hit somebody, it was like, Bleh! you know, it's just kind of weird. Like, <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe it. This is my vocabulary for music. And I just, that was kind of annoying because it was like, they were using music, like you said, as a sound effect. But it, yeah, but it was much. so cheesy and childish. It wasn't even like Batman in the olden days where, you know, it was like, oh, pow, or squack, you know. This was just kind of screechy <laughs> music, like street music or whatever. And I'm like, right. I don't yeah. understand. I thought they maybe were going to bust into a song then. But they, <laughs> they didn't. So I don't That'd think That'd be interesting it, if they just start dancing and singing like in West Side Story in this film. <laughs> that, would <be laughs> that would be so epic. Um, so... Fun. Do you give music a point, Matthew? Or uh, just for the tone of each scene, I give it a half a point. I don't. It, music, there was not really any music, really. Yeah. Just, but it added, it added to the texture of the scene what they did add. So right. I give it a half a point. Kind of made it fun. Like yeah. It sounded fun in certain yeah. spots or whatever. Yeah. 
Tabitha, you're next. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna give it a point because there was like I don't even think for some of the scenes like it, again it really didn't even work to help the movie. Right. I, right. It, I don't okay. really remember music at all, so mm -hmm. to me it's like that sucks. <laughs> so I'm not gonna give it a point. <laughs> Which is saying something about like the that film though. You, you don't have to have a whole uh, musical score to progress a film. You that's know really that's really interesting. Yeah, and sometimes that that works for a movie. Yeah. You know, like like Planet yeah. of the Apes, something like that. Like right. that helped build the story. For this, it was almost like it was just like an afterthought. You know, like we need music right. here. Insert. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I do. I saw that you highlighted Brett Yaman. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yaman's. Brett's yeah, comment there, yeah. uh, where it said, yeah, I miss man. all the non-politically correct movies. Did you guys catch in the museum when that group of children walked by? And I can only assume that they were Asian because he looked at them and it literally went, a ching, chong, 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 ching. Yeah, yeah, that's uh -oh. what he did do. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't, <laughs> see, you don't see the kids' faces, but I can you only yeah, assume yeah. that that's yeah. why he did that. People don't do that no more these days. Do they do don't, that. People don't make fun of other cultures anymore it these days for me some except for Dave Chappelle he could still get away with that yeah <laughs> caught me so by by surprise I was or Bill like, and again we're so like we're so groomed now anymore when we watch these movies and something like that happens we're like oh but before that would just been funny you know just which it was funny I thought it was funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was like what just happened <laughs> <laughs> did he really just do that that's great <laughs> <laughs> oh come on oh yeah valley in the garden guardian the valley of the jolly great giant great music choices mm -hmm. yes all right so um i did like you know like you guys are saying i did like some of those you know campy music choices of like See, i said i did commercials of I, well i I know you said you didn't like the music part at all, uh, um, but I, I, you know, those things were fun uh, to me. Yeah. Um, and you're right. There was there's, so I'm I'm can't, sitting on the line of uh, you know, so I'll probably have to give it a half a point at least. Um, but Ooh, you're Dan right. giving he, his least favorite kind of point a half. That's point. right. <laughs> the rare. But point. you're right. There there was you know when there's like the the action scenes and stuff. You really couldn't tell if there was like some score or music to it, mm -hmm. um, which you know, I mean, that's good and bad at the same time because it's yeah. not memorable. But at the same time, you know, it's still there and it moves the movie along, and you know, whatever. So it's not like, like, yeah, it's not yeah. memorable. See, it's, it's not <laughs> memorable stuff. Like, right. oh, am I gonna buy this? score or this uh album not something you jam to the work to work yeah. in the car you know like <laughs> right yeah. exactly um let me put but, on the sound soundtrack yeah. to this movie demolition <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's yeah. good stuff yeah <laughs> and, and really you know when you do your facebook stories and you can type in uh the music uh, what kind of music you want to add to it I really couldn't find anything from the Demolition Man movie because there's no so, memorable score. <laughs> yeah, there's no mem nothing memorable. They there. didn't even insert um, like like a song we would be familiar with anyway. You know, some people right. might put you know a Whitney Houston song in somewhere or a Michael Jackson song somewhere. Right, there wasn't even right, right. anything even like that. that. Yeah. No, exactly. So I'm gonna have to give it a half a point. Uh, don't like that, but I'm going to do it. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, Josh Gills. Hello, Josh Gills. He says it was basic '80s, early '90s action movie. Music. Yeah, and it was it was good. Yeah, but way. you know, even even Jurassic Park had good music. Oh, know? well, that's because they hired John Williams. I bet if John Williams would have worked on Demolition Man, we we'd be talking. Oh, about that would be so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. 
<laughs> Can you imagine if John Williams had a YouTube channel where he made music for like campy films and like put it to the movie just to, to see, make it better? <laughs> to see if he can make it better. Man, that would be so fun. Oh so man, great. that would be awesome. Is anybody out there like John Williams? That, that no, it's got to be John or no John or Bust, man, because he's got that magic. <clears throat> He's got the magic fingers, that's right. It would be funny, though. He's too old for that, I guess. Oh, he's probably not interested. He's got, his, he's got his mounds of millions. He's fine. He doesn't need YouTube. <laughs> or you get, get, get Hans right. Zimmer. Or Hans Dax Zimmer. Says, yeah, Dax says See what the he can do with it. the commercial jingles were cheaper than the real music. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> probably why. But still, you know, it would have been fun. Mm -hmm. have something more. Okay, so then, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, we got... Plot, acting, cinematography, music. Okay, so what's next is allegory. I'm curious to hear the, what you guys have to say. That's the end. Um, I'm curious to what you guys have to say. You guys <laughs> I have, start. You I have this, jumped at once. <laughs> I have this feeling like Dan either forgot or couldn't think of one, so he's just going to like piggyback off of what we have to say. <laughs> yes. That's why Dan should go first. <laughs> yes. That's why Dan should go first. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I should go first. Oh man! Oh, you just said that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, fine, Dan. Yeah, I'll go right. first because my allegory is short, sweet, and to the point. Because I couldn't find an allegory for this, and I was like, "All right, my allegory for for Demolition Man is God made dirt, and dirt don't hurt." <laughs> <laughs> like it's okay get a little dirt yeah. under your nails it's all good okay i, I had a, i had a one-year-old sneeze on my foot a week and a half ago i'm all right i made it it's okay like it's okay. <laughs> i didn't get sick <laughs> i'm all right i'm still here so that's my allegory <laughs> well now nowadays we got we got the pollen starting to happen and everybody's oh, yeah. allergies are gonna skyrocket soon mm, they already have uh, down here yeah. All right, Matthew, you're next. You're next. <laughs> Dan's like, I can't, I can't, I can't ride off of tab with this allegory. Let's see what Matthew has. It, I mean, it definitely was tough to find some. This this took me like the longest. Yeah. But uh, I would I would say with the society in the future it has to deal with pride because mm. one cannot mold a perfect society for one's own will uh, without Jesus. Eventually, those in power will always mess things up perfect world can only be with jesus so like you can have all this cameras and everything and not say um a curse word or whatnot without being fined i mean it can't it eventually it's going to go down it's going to go downhill and it usually is the people up on top just go mm -hmm. poof, right into the ground so i would probably have to say with the the higher elites pride will bring down a society always oh, for sure always does, <laughs> that's what yes. i that's kind of what i got out of it but it was Dan, definitely a tough one. Dan, can you can you work with that? So God made dirt, dirt don't hurt, and then pride will collapse any kind of empire. Go ahead, make magic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let me let me preach you here. Um, well, no, it's okay. I, honestly, I do I do like I do like the part where you know uh, we should all be free men, not free mm -hmm. men and women. Uh, be free. I mean, you don't have to always, you know, be cussing or, uh, you know, doing some stupid using stuff. salt. Yeah, using well, you can use salt. No, in the movie, salt, salt was light. salt right, was right. illegal. Salt was illegal, right, right, right. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Sea salt's better for you than rock salt yeah. because right, sea salt but it probably would still be in illegal it. in the film and, because it was deemed well, in the bad film. for your body. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, but that actually has a allegory in itself, looking at all that stuff, you know, looking at like the future stuff and what, what the plan is that God has planned for the end times, really. Um, not that it's going to end up that way, but it is going to end up in a way of where people are going to start following the devil and the devil's going to have control over a lot of stuff. Uh, the little microchip in the hand. Uh, we as Christians, I mean, that's already around. Mark of the beast, right? That is around. Um, 
and it's going to control what you eat, what you drink, all that stuff. And that's in the Bible, you know, um, yeah. having to buy stuff by scanning something or whatever it is, you know, it's. Oh, even, uh, you know, that uh, the whole thing with the head, with the brain stuff. Oh, there was like a, there was a month ago. Someone came out with that. Oh, <laughs> it's here, go. man. It's wild. <laughs> it's here. The metaverse. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Right. Like these movies, like, did they have some kind of inside information or were they just making that up? And we decided, hey, let's make that off of a movie. You know, <laughs> I'm sure they had some kind of insider information, especially, you know, knowing so, some of those people knew about the Bible, you know, that right in the movie. No, I just meant like the technology aspect, and, you know. Well, right, right. That's what I was going to get at, too. Um, some of the technology <laughs> stuff, too. Yeah, you know, it's just... I like what Brett said. You don't have to curse to be politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. I like that. That's, right. That's, right. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know. So we didn't give the allegory a point, Matthew. So, I gave it a point. You did? You gave it a point? Okay. Right now. <laughs> so, Dan, so you gave I, it. I'll give it a point only, only for the, the fact that it, some of it has to do with like end time stuff. You know? Okay. I and, give it a big and, fat zero. You're right. I, I figured that. This is a movie I, I was not, I like, to but me, it was I, not clearly evident to me that there was right, an allegory. Right. But I was going to say that. I was going to just mm -hmm. say that too. I, but also when I watching this movie, it just kind of, I didn't think about the allegory just because. Yeah. It just didn't kind of come organically. Yeah. 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 And I didn't, and I didn't see the movie in a long time. So it's not like one of those emotional type of uh, allegories, you know, if we watch the pilgrims progress, we got to give the allegory a point though. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> if the entire movie's an allegory, can you find an allegory? <laughs> the whole plot is an allegory, so is that cheating? Like, <laughs> well, Avery Cruz says he's leaving about uh, three minutes ago. So, bye, Avery. Wink hugs, hugs to you. Wing hugs. <laughs> Tabitha, you didn't do the wing hugs. Tabitha's like, bye. No, no, he's. I'm sorry. I'm counting. I'm doing math. Oh, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, do math. Do the math. <laughs> do, do math. <laughs> you need a calculator. No, but There's... you guys keep interrupting me as I keep going down. I've only gotten to, I keep going three, six, nine, and then something else happens. I'm like, what? Oh, three, six, nine. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. There you go. There's another T-shirt, people. Do math. To do math. <laughs> and inside the booth, we do math. <laughs> we do math. That's it. That's it. Oh my goodness! I just... Uh, oh gosh, I can't even think of the guy's name. So this got this movie from inside the booth gets a twelve out of fifteen. <clears throat> oh, nice. Twelve. Nineteen ninety-three movie. All right. Or was that's, it ninety-six? <laughs> Ooh. 94. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and say I like to do this for some of our viewers just because, you know, people have discretion and preferences. But this movie does, like we said before, it does have a lot of language in it, although it's done in a kind of a funny, whimsical way, depending on what your discretion mm -hmm. is. It, there are quite a few cuss words in here of all different flavors. And then yeah. there was an unexpected um, nudity scene in there. With the, oh, the phone, oh, <laughs> with the phone call, the FaceTime phone call, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's very short, but it's there. It's there. So uh, that that uh, I'll have I would have to say that uh, that mind sex scene was a little weird too. Well, and that like, was supposed eh. to be too. Yeah, you don't really see anything. It's like flashing strobe color lights and Sandra Bullock yeah. like a close up of her face, and uh, the guy's but, like. What is this? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love when she's like, I, I require you leave my domicile immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I want to like, do the what? What jumbo. <laughs> the hanky panky. <laughs> and then she just stops with her foot. Yeah. <laughs> the old fashioned way, fluid transfer. <laughs> well, how do you have kids? <laughs> I know that answer was kind of sad too. If you think about all, that's another thing in our society too. We're not necessarily, I don't know that we're purifying embryos and things like that, but you know, the fact that people are having children 
in unnatural ways where they're not, you know, in married couples having kids, but like they're in Petri t dish kids, you know, because, right. you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting, right? We're in the Twilight Zone now. That's right. Test tube babies. Test tube babies. <laughs> um, I used to joke. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Behave I'm not going to say it. Uh, anyways. So right. you can read yeah, what R2 the Icky well, just said. Oh, no, don't don't read what don't don't read it. Oh, oh. <laughs> R2's being uh, bad. R2, you're funny. Actually, I got VHS. DVD R2, not a VHS tape. Because <laughs> Dan wants and it I, in HD. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And if I had the VHS tape, that Sorry. section would be He's... stretched and cut and. Yeah, anyway. he's got that on laser disc. Come on, <laughs> laser disc. <laughs> I remember yeah. those big laser discs. Oh, yeah. in, like in, in high school, that was going to be the new thing. Is the big laser disc? Whoa. And it turned out to be. Oh, never mind. Now it's going to be DVD versus what was that other one? What? Um, not MP3s. Um, there was something know. else. Um, and then there was uh, Blu-ray versus. HD something or other, yeah. mm -hmm. some high definition one, and the Blu ray, Blu ray one, obviously. Um, yeah, so there's always something that you, you, you know, uh, technology is fighting over. Oh, HDB, yeah, that's right. Onwards and upwards. Yep. So DVD and DivX, and then there was uh, Blu-ray and HDV. That's right. And soon, just like Futurama, it's going to be iPhone, where they put everything behind your eye, and you just click, mm. click, 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 click. No, you click. Yeah. You... Uh, what uh, What movie was that where you, they they put in a thing? Oh, that was Batman. Yeah, he had he had one. It oh was yeah. A, um, it was contact, a, a contact lens. lens. Put oh, in there, and he like. Oh yeah, I forgot thing. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just remember Futurama just laughing. <laughs> He's like, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> well, beta against um, VHS. Yeah. VHS won, but beta had better quality. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Good night, everyone. <laughs> I was like, here we are. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry, I'm just reading the comments now. All right, so that's it for Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Uh, so I, I kind of would recommend it, you know, if if somebody wanted to go watch it. But, of course, like Tabitha said, uh, language and one split second scene of nudity. How about um, this? Could they do a sequel? I think they could. Think they could? Yeah, or a prequel yeah. or something like that, you mm -hmm. know? I, I think they should expand. This should be one of those... Uh, new expanded universe type uh movies they should they should take this concept and just kind of like redo it all and make it like 12 movies full Wait, more, would fun. it be better as a tv show oh there you go yeah i think it would be better yeah. better as a tv show so that it would be it difficult would be. for him to find phoenix you know like he's there. on the trail and he has to mm. navigate through all the sterile environment and the people and all that they stuff. Right. expand on the daughter too <laughs> Yeah, and you could add on to oh, and then that. You could add the daughter part to it. Yeah. So it's interesting because that movie only takes place ten years from where we're at right now. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think any of that's like? It's not really that far off in predicting. I mean, it's it's. I think we should get Stallone on and ask him. Right. <laughs> Good night, Dave White. Whitey. Everybody, don't forget, uh, Whitey Wicked Workshop also hey, has w -W -W. a YouTube channel. Uh, go check it out. He His channel is awesome. I, Star, I, Wars make props, stuff. Star Wars props and yeah. stuff. So yeah, that's <laughs> fun. Maybe he'll st maybe he can make a uh, demolition man prop. Maybe one cool. of the guns or something or uh, a seashell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. The little three seashells. We need to make Dave, 3D you... printed seashells. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Why do you make that 3D printed uh, section with the three seashells? I want to put it behind me somewhere. That would In case we fun. ever have a toilet paper crisis again. That's, we just that's start cursing, it. man. Just, all I got to do is the three seashells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me put, 
You could put it on Disney's grooming. I mean, streaming service. Yeah, I think this would definitely be a Netflix kind of. Yeah, this one would be more TV Netflix. Show. Yeah. Because mm. well, WB did uh, make the you know produce the movie, so it would probably be more. What's that? HBO Max. WB is on HBO Max. Oh, okay. No, mm. I have no idea. I, I think. I don't know. But yeah, Netflix would be cool to have it on. I, I could see this being, even though it probably wouldn't be my cup of tea, I could see Netflix producing this very well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, who would we have act in it, though? Because obviously Stallone's way too old to be in it now. So, Well, given the fact that the action scenes are probably up to his current physical level right now, <laughs> he could still we, be in we it. can yeah. still be in it <laughs> <laughs> i would love that that'd be awesome <laughs> that'd be cool yeah who's, I the, who's the guy that plays venom get that guy I tom think he hardy yeah i think tom, tom hardy, hardy would oh, he, be good he would be good but yeah you know how many movies he's done already but this would be a TV yeah. show. It's completely so it'd be like, different. It'd be like, man, man, why do we got to see Tom Hardy's face again? The but, same reason know. we have to see Oscar Isaac's face again. <laughs> <laughs> why? Again. Why don't? What happened to like the variety of actors out there yeah. that Hollywood used to use? <laughs> the age. Of, I said to someone the other day, the age of celebrity is done. That's, yeah, that's it. It really is dwindling and away. Just, huh? They hit the ground like 10 years ago and they're not giving up. And they're not running. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they're not running at it's all. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Celebrity status is a thing of the past. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, we got this now. Anybody can be a celebrity now. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's almost true. You're right. Yeah. Well, I don't think well, we're well, knocking thanks. Tom Hardy. I, I don't know. I think Tom Hardy's a good actor. The, my favorite no, thing I've is. seen him in is Inception. I really like him in Inception. Mm, he was right. good in that. Um, and he was just in a couple of new movies. Uh, dog, I think was the name of the movie, right? I haven't or seen. The Dog or Dog, whatever. It just came out. And then the other one was, uh, I think it's Lost something or other. And the, and there are two movies that came out in a row, too. Um, busy Man. Yeah, Busy Man. Busy guy. Dan's a celebrity. Oh, well, thank you. No, he's not. He's the law. Get it right or pay the, the price. Law. And a celebrity of the law. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Tabitha. I loved it. <laughs> Where's my stickers? They're up here somewhere. Uh, forget it. Can't find him. There it is. Next time. There it is. Lawless. Next he was time. very good in Lawless. I like that film. There you go. I haven't seen that either. I'm not very up one. to date on a lot of current things. Movies. Yeah, me either. Just because the movie stuff has kind of been going downhill. And it's like, I don't know what I want to watch <laughs> these days. I mean, but I guess just, they're getting better. They're, they're but, starting to come out. Yeah. With, there's better some stuff coming out. Now. They're trying. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, if you follow us on Patreon, you will have, depending on what tier, if you decide to support us, which you can for as little as a dollar a month, we have different tiers on there where we're starting to put um, some content on there that only our patrons can view. And that would be including movie reviews for more current films since typically here on inside the booth we review older films those cult classics and things like that so if you want to see our opinions on some of the newer films you can support us and check us out over on patreon at inside the booth that's right everybody go check that out and then we got this stuff that tabitha made a video for so i don't have to really say much no, you want me to do it again? R2 made me yeah, nervous. Go, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> what is this place? R2. What is it that you do here? Merchandising. 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 Where the real money from the movie is made. Oh, it's beautiful. That's awesome. I'll have to work with the sound so it's so it's off a little bit. <laughs> I love the Zelda that you did. That's so great. I love it. I found like six different ones and I'm like, this is the best one, I think. So that's the, that's the greatest. <laughs> to be able to put Dan's face on there properly. 
<laughs> that was great. <laughs> I loved it. That is fun. And you can buy those three things that were shown. And more. But we That's won't right. tell you and what more. those are. You have to look at the website. That's right. Go we'll to the website. Go to uh, slash shop and look at all the beautiful links that we have to go buy something. <laughs> beautiful links. Get it? Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just and that yeah. sticker she was holding up. Hold it up again. Tell me that's not Navi. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's Zelda cattle. Navi. It's cattle from Majora's Mask. <laughs> <laughs> so good. you're right, R2. I will. I'll work with that. <clears throat> uh, what's the same? He said, "I'm just saying, don't be surprised if you get dinged for it." Yeah, I mean, they are pretty protected. Well, we'll stuff. we'll we'll figure that out once the stream is over. I'll let you know if we get dinged. But mm -hmm. that that's so short. I don't know if they will. Um, but you never know. You know, you never know. We might get chosen. That's right. We we <laughs> might get a copyright strike and hit the big time. <laughs> that's right. Uh, we've had a couple of those already. <laughs> Oh. oh boy. Ah, oh, man. We did, my brother and I did this kind of like a movie reaction where we're kind of watching the movie and reacting to it at the same time. Oh. And it was on this Christian movie of, uh, it was called The Rapture or something like that. And it was really cheesy, right? Um, which you can watch on Rumble, by the way, everybody. Go follow us on Rumble. It's Isn't on it? there. What um, year is but, the movie? Uh, it was 2012, I think it was, something like okay. that. I'll send you a link or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, More links. But very, very cringy, very cheesy. I did not like <laughs> the movie at all. And it wasn't a left behind like, thing, right? No, no, no. It was okay. kind of like a left behind movie, but yeah. not. I mean, you, you, you'll see when I send it to you. Um, but we, so we had it on there, and for probably about almost four years, it wasn't hit with anything. And then the director got us with a copyright strike oh so that's we have one. one strike on us right now because of this oh. director and i've met the guy <laughs> i met him I've met well him in what's he um, been doing now yeah and apparently he didn't like what we said about his movie um, oh it, it wasn't you know it wasn't that bad we were just well, saying at least how... he didn't slap you <laughs> <laughs> too soon <laughs> <laughs> Never. It's the internet. Never. It is. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we do have one strike against us because of this one guy. And I was gonna, you know, because it's we got the strike and it said, oh, you can, you have, what was it like, seventy eight hours to email him and try to get it off or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then like it turned into, w within like an hour, it turned into no, nope, never mind, you can't rebut it you can't email him you can't wow. talk to the guy and he's like a christian guy right yeah he's a christian guy well how loving how what a christian loving guy can't take criticism <laughs> i feel you That's right. can't take any criticism now he's he's a nice guy i've met him you know he was obviously really not nice guy, but but at the same time he can't, <clears throat> can't make movies worth the beans <laughs> yeah. the, guy, the guy needs to uh read his bible again and see that jesus could take criticism <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too much criticism. He's like, stone me. I dare you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they took them that that uh, video down. And we oh. had like we had like two thousand views on that video. Oh, see, see. Oh wow. Of course. So, so obviously he was able to find it somehow. Let's see if anybody uh is actually watching the movie. <laughs> yeah. Let's see who watches how, movie. Dan, how would that work? Like if we wanted to, because I would love to like I'm not a I don't like a christian movies at all but i would love to like do reviews and just be like <laughs> and make this is wrong like a, this is wrong like a yeah. Mr. science theater type style yes yeah, just with be... all christian movies i think that's a Can brilliant you do them idea on discord i think would we have to get permission <clears throat> from those people to actually do that how does that work i don't, I don't even know how that works I on youtube that. yes i think you need permission <clears throat> but anywhere else maybe not uh i think i think maria we'll knows. Figure it out. Can I go to rumble who knows <laughs> yeah maria <laughs> Oh, Maria might know, yeah. She might know. Discord might work. I don't know if it that works like that, but oh. um I actually did like Rich Mullins' um 
movie like uh, someone like his friends did a movie about him i'm a big fan of rich mullins uh this guy that created our god is a Awesome god song back in like oh, okay. the 80s early 90s uh he had an amazing amazing life uh I actually got to go with his uh his uh, grave when I was traveling last year. It was in Illinois. It was pretty mm -hmm. awesome. <clears throat> but yeah, it's very far in between good Christian movies out there. Did you see did you see uh War Room, Dan? The Christian no. movie? No. About, like, I haven't heard seen that one. I heard it was actually it really was good. good. Yeah. Dan, it, we might have was, to watch. We might have to watch that one since we neither of us have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it was. There's some stuff I'm just like that. They made the person look crazy. Well, yeah, of course. I was like, what I is mean, happening here? I mean, like, have how you do you showcase seen, that? Yeah, ha have you ever seen like uh, probably one of us has has done it? Uh, seen a Christian person driving down the road, and you're driving next to him, and they're praising and talking to Jesus all at the same time. I never look left or right. And they're like going. <laughs> <laughs> I got to open my eyes more. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. should open your eyes. I, open I need to go like, driving more often. Yeah. I mean, I've... <laughs> normally, I normally what I see is people show, showcasing uh, uh, fingers. <laughs> right, yeah. They, they... <laughs> and like are... Yeah, and then Like I, if I'm know... going the speed limit, I'm making like a right, and the person behind me, I'll see just like, I'm like, what is wrong with that person? I'm like, are I'm you that bad that of a driver, Matthew? Be honest. No, I'm not. I follow the law. I follow the law. The law. <laughs> and what law is that? That's the law funny. of the road. The law yeah. of the boomerang. There you go. So yeah, and I and I thought to myself one time when I was praying and all that, I looked crazy when someone looked at me when I'm driving next to him. Oh, hey. <laughs> You know, but you know, it is what it is. We all look crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm just anyways. reading what Dax is saying about uh, like the rights and whatnot about doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead and read it. Anyway, you gotta tell him, silent breed is people. Coming soon. <laughs> it might be funny now, but they're like, oh, wow, yeah. Coming they, soon they to a society near you. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget it! I'm not doing it! This episode was badly written! Well, it's interesting that right. there's an article I just read saying that Everybody. Bill Gates wants to get rid of all meats. And so, oh, yeah. coming soon. Silent Green could happen. Yeah, it could happen. Probably it, already it, is. Yeah, we out, don't even know it. Out of something else. People, probably. Um, anyways, everybody, good night. Thanks for showing up. I know this was a long goodbye, and we're just chit chatting. Um, but thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to let your friends know about us, too. The more, the merrier. The merrier. Um, that's right. So, good night, everybody. Have fun. Uh, and hold on. One last video before we go. Oh, boy. I'm trying to find it. No, Sorry. no. Bye bye. No. Were you not entertained? <laughs>